Sorry, friend. You wouldn't want to give me a little money to support my little daughter, would you? I'm unemployed and don't have a single peso in my wallet. Achi, well, if the milk wasn't even mine, how could I keep it for you? No, man, go over there. Sorry, friend. You wouldn't want to give me a little money to support my daughter, would you? I'm unemployed and don't have a single peso in my wallet. No, brother, I'm busy. Hey, friend, sorry, but could you spare a little coin? Look, I'm unemployed and don't have enough money to support my little daughter, and I don't have a single peso in my wallet. Oh, this, well... I have only what's about the bus. This... But, let's see. Let me check. Well, I bring... I only have for the bus, but, well, I have ten pesos. I don't know if it helps you. Are you sure? Well, yes. Yeah? You really need it, right? Yes, you see, the truth is that I am a little... I've asked several people if they can support me with a little coin, but no one has given me anything. Everyone tells me to go to work or asks why I have children. In fact, one person was very rude and told me that... No, why am I telling you this? And the truth is, you are the first person to give me these ten pesos, and well... I really need something to eat. It's important because you haven't eaten anything all day. Yes, no, well, what I mean is, it's from the little that I have, but I hope this helps you. Yes, things are really difficult. I came here to ask for a job, but it's very difficult because they don't hire me due to my many problems, so it becomes much more complicated. Things are tough. I have a heart problem, and I don't... Sometimes I struggle to walk, and I had an accident a while ago, and... And no, there are many things to be done here, but they won't give me the job. Yes, I imagine that the physical effort, I mean... Well, the few times I've come, I don't have much to offer. I don't have a lot of money to buy things. Well, I do see that people are working very hard, right? And so... Well, I see that your eyes are filled with sadness. I'm sorry if I made you feel a bit bad. It's just that I haven't found a job. I'm struggling quite a bit. I haven't found work. I had a husband and a baby. I lost them in an accident. Don't tell me that. I'm struggling a lot because I haven't been able to arrange his pension. I haven't been able to arrange the pension, and I have no money. I was in bad shape after the heart accident. I can't exert much effort. But hey, I've been looking for a job all day. So, friend, what's your name? Susanna. Susanna. Susanna, the truth is I understand you, and it breaks my heart to see you like this. I know that sometimes the situation becomes very difficult. Look, I'm risking my baby's life and, well, the truth is that my life matters more to me than my baby's, right? But I have to risk hers, too, because I'm alone here. I don't have anyone to leave her with. The truth is, well, my daughter's mother abandoned me when she was born. The situation is very difficult and sometimes it feels lonely, right? But... Yes, things are very difficult. And do you have time right now? Yes, I have time. I mean, they told me they would talk to me, but honestly, I don't think they'll give me the job. Well, well, we have to keep looking for it. So? And I was thinking, I would like to... I don't know if you have time, but I would like to talk a bit more with you. You see, I believe that there are no coincidences, only diocidences, and that our meeting, well, it's for a reason, right? So, would you like to talk with me for a little while? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can find a place to talk here. Yeah, come on. Look, the truth is, I asked if you could come talk to me for a while because sometimes you feel like you need to talk to someone else and get everything out. I would like to know more in depth about why they don't want to fix your late husband's pension at work. Well, it's been a year since it happened to us. The accident. My husband was driving and... 
at work, they didn't want to respond. They didn't want to respond to my family and me. It has been a very difficult year. I am left with nothing. My husband, my baby, and the king of accidents, as I told you. I started to suffer from from heart problems. I don't know, well, it's not so easy to find a job and, and I haven't been able to resolve the issue with his pension. Listen, Susanna, the truth is that... Well, yes, I completely understand you. I can't find work either, as I told you. I would like to help you. I see you cry. And I would like to help because those tears should not be of sadness, but of happiness. Well, I can't understand how people, or rather your late husband's bosses, don't want to grant you that pension, especially if it was an accident that occurred during his time at work. And the truth is, I have tried a lot. I've shown up to work many times. But they've closed the doors on me. They no longer welcome me. It's a very difficult situation because I had to go through grief alone. Nobody helps you. And I imagine you miss your baby a lot, right? It's a very serious frustration. It's a feeling of great helplessness. And look, I would like to tell you something, and... First, I want to return the ten pesos that you gave me. Take them. I want to give them back to you. Maybe this is really getting on your nerves, right? And I see that your face is filled with confusion, and... Look, I want to confess something to you. Don't be bothered. What is happening right now is a social experiment. I'll tell you very quickly. I am dedicated to looking for people with a good heart, like yours. I do have something here, but it's not a baby. Forgive me if I made you feel bad, but look. It's my job to find people with a good heart like yours. That's what I'm dedicated to. My team and I do that. And for your good heart, which is a very big heart. What do you think if, before I introduce you to what I have here, because I do have something, we go somewhere a bit more outdoors? What do you think? Yes, that's fine. Am I not taking up too much of your time? Not at all. Come on. Yeah? Yeah, come on. Will you accompany me? Yeah. You might be wondering, Susanna, why I'm taking you from one place to another. Well, it's because the time has come for you to meet the baby I have here with me. Do you want to meet him? Yeah. Yeah? Would you like to hold him in your arms? Yeah. Yeah? I want you to meet him. So what is it? This money here, Susanna, is for you. For me? Yes. It's for you. People with a good heart like yours deserve to be rewarded. And all the money in the world will never be enough, believe me. I want you to use this for your treatments, so you can get better, be in good health, and find a good job. Take it. I'll help you if I can. I don't know. It's too much money. There's nothing strange in this, Susanna, because good-hearted people need to be rewarded. As I told you, I dedicate myself to finding good-hearted people like you and rewarding them for their good actions. What do you think? Yeah? Well... Do you want to take it? Yes. You need it, don't you? Yes. And we in the world need people like you, Susanna. What is here is for you. Everything. Take it. Please, I want you to take it. This is a reward for being a good person. You see? Oh, thank you. No, you're welcome. You have nothing to thank for. I can't believe it. Believe it. Thank you.
Did you ever think this would happen to you? No, really. Did you think all this was a lie? Today was your turn, Susanna. I don't believe it. Today it was your turn, Susanna. So you can see that all those videos you see on the internet are real. We are dedicated to rewarding good-hearted people, and today it was your turn. I want you to use this money tomorrow to get treatment so you can get a job. What's more, what would you like to work as, Susanna? Oh, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. The truth is that right now, as much as possible, I need a job that doesn't require so much physical effort because I get tired, my chest hurts, and sometimes I get agitated and feel like I'm out of breath. I need several consultations. I need to have a diagnosis of exactly what I have, but whatever it is, whatever it is. Look, Susanna, I want to tell you something. I want you to use what I gave you for your financial stability. And my team and I will take care of all your treatments so you don't have to spend it. And what do you think? It turns out that at the supermarket where you came to ask for a job, do you think they will call you? No. The regional manager is a very good friend of mine, and I will make sure that he opens a vacancy for you as an assistant manager. So that you can have a good job, a good salary, without the need without the need to tire you out too much or make you exert a lot of effort. How do you see it? Thank you. Thank you. I never imagined such a blessing. I told you a while ago, Susanna, there are no coincidences, only diocidences, and today was one of them. Thanks, thanks. The truth is, no. I can't believe it. I am sure that that this blessing is sent to me by my husband and my baby. Of course, Susanna. They're going to turn into tears of happiness, right? Yes, yes, yes. And we have fulfilled it. What do you think? Susanna, well, thank you very much, truly, for your good heart. Continue being such a kind person, and believe me, Life will always reward you, not only us, but life itself. It will absolutely reward all your good actions, right? Thank you. I will always be grateful to you. Thank you very much, really. I really won't let you down. I'll do my best. Don't worry, Susanna. And look, please wipe those tears because we are going to return to the supermarket so you can sign a contract for the assistant manager vacancy. How does that sound? Yeah? Does that sound good to you? Yes? Well, let's go. Come on! It's still early. Come on.